in the trenches with Ryan Roxy. With your body swing and what you've created, um, what you are saying is there is hope for guys like me that oh, have learned that. with that have Absolutely. learned a little bit later in life and perhaps yeah. learned uh, not the exact fundamental proper way. Because I'll be honest sure. with you, Alice has been has been telling me about the body swing for years. Because um, anyone that watches Alice Cooper on stage or watches yeah. him on the golf course, he likes his hips. He likes. Uh, oh wow, there's there's. I think that's that's, Paul. My, that's my brother. That's my that's brother, brother right there. So look you at, guys look met. at the face on Alice. <laughs> he loves <laughs> oh, he's golf. He's getting a golf book, and it's like, oh. <laughs> no, that's just his face after the show when he's tired and he wants to play poker. So I know that face. That's that's like I'm waiting to get on the bus to play poker. Right. So the, the thing is, I have some hope that um that that I can learn this body swing. I, and like I said, if you go on to Paul's YouTube channel, you too can actually learn the correct fundamental way because Alice has been teach trying to sh tell me about it, but the way you explained it to mm -hmm. uh, me in the body swing and the way you've explained it in all your videos on YouTube, they they I can actually make sense of it a bit more and I'm spending much more time right. on it. So right. it's so a work in progress, folks. Yeah, so what kind of sets me apart from other teachers is just kind of the way I say it. So I know I speak different than everyone else, okay? I make this super simple. From the very first lesson I ever gave, many, you know, 30 years ago, my thought process was fast and easy. It's got to be fast. People have got to learn this quick, and it's got to be easy. So back in the day, I knew people were leading busy lives. If this was not going to get any better for people, they would have two jobs. You know, they're trying to learn a, a game that can potentially be difficult for some people. So I have to say it in a way that is so unbelievably simple. People will get it. If you understand it, then maybe you'll try it. Okay, now I want people to try it for more than three balls. Okay, so that's a big mistake people make too. They try something for three balls and then they give up and they go right back to their other golf swing that doesn't work. So this is new. It's different. So we want to give it a bucket of balls. Okay, but Just try some of these things for one bucket of balls. No joke. If you try it for one bucket of balls, you will hit some amazing shots. Then you will know that you can actually do it. And that's huge. And like I say, I make it so easy. I'm not going to sit there and give you technical things. So I was thinking about this the, the other day. I'm like, okay, your average person is going to go to the range once a week, maybe, and they're going to play once a week. So if I give you something that is very complex to work on, okay, you have basically, if you were playing all year long, 52 range sessions, right? Hey, that's it. So if I'm going to make a change in my golf swing, I know immediately, like, you know, because I'm working on a little more finite details, I know that's going to take me one month, and that's if I do it every day. There's 30, okay? So keep in mind, if I give people very complex things, they're never going to get it. It's just not going to happen. Like, yep. difficult things. So I keep it very simple. Then I want people to just do 25 practice swings a day at home. If you just do some practice swings, you're learning movements and a few positions. So you can easily practice this at home. So I, I'll give you a story. Okay. So I wanted to prove my theory of somebody not hitting any golf balls and actually learning it. So I was back in Canada, very busy. I'm doing you know, 12 lessons a day, this young guy, he was about, I'm going to say mid-20s, comes up to me and says, hey, Paul, I'd like to start taking lessons. And I'm like, oh, well, where am I going to put him? Like, I got nowhere to put this guy, <laughs> right? So I said, okay, here's what I'll do. I will teach you on my lunch, okay? But you got to promise me, you're not going to hit one golf ball. If I hear of you hitting one practice ball, we are done. I am never going to teach you ever again. So he agreed. This guy's shooting 95. Okay, we had the Canadian Open at our course twice. This was not a, uh, you know, this was a real golf course. 
So, <laughs> first day, I show them the grip. Next week, I show them the setup. Next week, I show them position one. There's like four positions I teach. Yeah, four positions. Yeah. You, you, you equate it to like four guitar chords. That's, that's right. the way exactly. I, I, I swear. Exactly. I love exactly. the way that you have it. Well, Set he up. just keeps doing practice swings. He was allowed to play, but he could not do any, hit any golf balls. Two months later, he shot 75. So Dude. it can be done. You just got to change the movement. You got to look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> that was like a pro. You really, really right. do have a way of making the golf swing look like a real professional golfer. Even with the, the, the time that I've put in so far, I can notice that my, it might not go exactly where I want it to go just now, but it looks a hell of a lot better oh, doing yeah. it. So I, I, in fact, yeah. In fact, so much that Vic, I think you have a special. This is my latest swing. This is a little uh, Easter egg for you, Paul. Oh, uh, we, nice. I, 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 I gave you a, um, I, I put up a clip of my latest swing, and I wanted you live while we're doing the oh, okay. in the trench this golf special just to break my swing down right now, uh, Vic. If you could play it, only, I think it's only like four or five seconds. But there you go. There okay. now, we're gonna put you really on so the just sign on the takeaway. It's a little laid off there. Um, yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. It's getting this is better. actually looking very good. Yeah. Okay. Just a tiny, tiny bit outside with the takeaway. You're laying the club off at the top. That means that the club is pointing a little to the left at the very top of the backswing. So see, he's outside right there. Setup looks real nice. So watch right here. See his club's pointing to the left. Face looks a tiny bit open there, too. But we're almost hitting my follow through positions perfectly right there. So you can start to see that that is changing. Starting the shape. to work. It's starting to and look better. I don't think people realize I have literally been working with you remotely. You have literally sent me uh, one, two, I think three videos of your swing so far. Right. So that is within three times That's that I have emailed yeah. you back and explained what you need to work on. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah great, fantastic. So like I say, it's gonna take people maybe a month or two right. to start dramatically changing their swing. Now, just imagine if you, you know, you're kind of doing something and you don't really look like a great golfer, how are your scores gonna be? Probably not great, right? People, are, can, you're not gonna think, believe it yourself. Right, but if I can transform you, make you look like a pro, you would then have the right fundamentals. So you should play and hit great shots. Not that you're going to be, you know, on TV, but if you have the right fundamentals, you're going to hit the ball amazingly well. So it's the look of the swing that I, that's one of the things I'm after. I need you to look like a better player. If you look like a better player, you will become a better player. I have a I have a, a guitar course. We have over here yeah, at the RGA. Yeah. We have the System Twelve Guitar Method, and I am going to adopt that sort of mentality. And I'm going to maybe have an addendum to the course with it's just on posing. I have to have the right Absolutely. guitar pose, right? Of course, yeah. <laughs> look, if you if you grab your guitar and you you know look like you don't know what you're doing, you could be terrible. That makes total sense to me. I <laughs> hey, love you gotta it. You got to have the flow. You know, you got to. Bob your head. <laughs> well, we see we say that golf and rock, you know, a lot of people go, ah, they don't they don't mix, but obviously Alice Cooper has been able to combine Absolutely. the two. Your method, uh, you immediately told me about the four positions. Think of it as four chords. And one of the pieces of advice yeah. is you gave me, you said, don't start playing, you know, don't start playing these really intricate rhythms until you learn the actual bar chords or you know the way you explained it was like hey guy <laughs> just learn the song simple and that's exactly what we do with system 12 i, I tell i teach people to, to play with first they're just their one finger and then they can add the power chords and then they can add all the stuff and the rhythm later but exactly. you that's what you explained to me with the golf moves yeah the hitting hard would be somebody trying to play these power chords like right out of the gate you know it's like you gotta have the touch it's gotta be gentle go easy for a little bit get the moves do them slow you know i'll tell someone to swing at 50 percent 
but you know they still smash it as hard as they can. It's like, why would you do that if you're trying to learn something? You know, a certain movement. You know, why not at least do the move? I call it doing it right at one mile an hour instead of wrong at a hundred. You know, I say the same but, thing with a guitar. Yeah. I say, uh, and, and honestly, they're in the trend. They're in the chat right now. They must know how many times I say, I would rather you play it slowly and correctly exactly. than than play it quickly and out of time and not just join us. You don't even know what song it is. Exactly. Exactly. Like the guitar, mm -hmm. the guitar chord thing. So this is the story I, I tell someone. So, you know, you, <laughs> it's very much like playing a guitar. Okay. So you go, you're having a midlife crisis. You go to the guitar store, you go, wow. I always wanted to be like Ryan Roxy. <laughs> I wanted to be a rock star. <laughs> so you're in this guitar store, you look up and you go, wow. Look at that guitar. So they put it in the case. What do they do? They throw a chord book in there and they send you on your way. So you go, okay, how do I learn this guitar? So you open the book and you go, oh, oh, I'm gonna play a C, right? So you're like, oh. <laughs> so that is like one of the positions. So how long is it gonna take you to strum a C? Half decent, you know? That would be like you mastering one position. Now you move on to a G, okay? So you again, you got to learn the fingering of a G. Oh, what's a G? Uh, you know, and then it sounds terrible. Now you got to go from a C to a G, okay? So in sequencing four chords, which is basically the four positions I teach, it's going to take you a little time. So you just sit there, learn the position, do the position, do the practice swings at home. Yeah. And then in no time, you've got it. Like within a month or two, you're playing the best golf of your life. I'm telling you, I'm getting very excited myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love that clip. And, and just so you know about that clip, because we are at the In the Trenches uh, golf special, folks. And thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we are here with golf pro Paul Wilson and talking about his body swing. In order to hype myself up for this episode, you know what I did over the weekend? I'm Ryan Roxy, and I've taken all my years of experience of playing guitar, and I want to pass the torch of rock and roll on to you. Check out the System 12 Guitar Method.